We believe that we have established overwhelmingly that both articles of impeachment fail to allege impeachable offenses and that, therefore, both articles one and two must fail. And so I submit that a key question to be asked as you begin your deliberations, were the rules here faithfully followed? If not, if that is your judgment, then with all due respect, the prosecutors should not be rewarded, just as federal prosecutors are not rewarded. You didn't follow the rules. You should have. First, the president did not condition security assistance or a meeting on anything during the July 25 call. In fact, both Ambassador Yovanovitch and Mr. Tim Morrison confirmed that the Javelin missiles and the security assistance were completely unrelated. Have the facts as presented to you as a court, as the High Court of Impeachment, proven trustworthy? Has there been full and fair disclosure in the course of these proceedings? Fundamental fairness. Second, President Zelensky and his top advisors agreed that there was nothing wrong with the July 25 call and that they felt no pressure from President Trump. President Zelensky said that the call was good, normal, and no one pushed me. Did the House Judiciary Committee rush to judgment in fashioning the articles of impeachment? Did it cath carefully gather the facts, assess the facts? Third, President Zelensky and the highest levels of the Ukrainian government did not learn of the pause until August 28, 2019, more than a month after the July 25 call between President Trump and President Zelensky. What was being said in the sounds of silence was this. We don't have time to follow the rules. We won't even allow the House Judiciary Minority members who have been besieging us time and again to have their day. Incredibly, when these articles were finally brought to this chamber without a single Republican vote, the managers then claimed that now, now they need more process. They've asserted today and on other occasions that the president's legal arguments in response to the subpoenas, they, they've said that it's indiscriminate. There was just a blanket defiance. I think I've shown that that wasn't true. There were three very specific legal rationales provided by the executive branch as to different defects and different subpoenas the Speaker of the House does not have authority by holding a press conference to delegate the sole power of impeachment from the House to a committee. And the result was 23 totally unauthorized and invalid subpoenas were issued as a beginning of this impeachment inquiry. At the end of the day, this is an effort to overturn the results of one election and to try to interfere in the coming election that begins today in Iowa. And we believe that the only proper result, if we're applying the golden rule of impeachment, if we're applying the rules of impeachment that were so eloquently stated by members of the Democratic Party the last time we were here, the only appropriate result here is to acquit the president and to leave it to the voters to choose their president. 